Jalen Wagner. According to the World Health Organization in their book titled Facing Challenges, Building Solutions, nearly 44 million adults and 7.7 .7 million children and teens aged 10 through 19 experience mental illness. Only 12% of these are going to receive treatment. In order to prevent the rise of mental illness, we need to advocate, advocate for stronger policies within our nation, such as supporting students, a policy that requires universities to provide resources for students who are struggling. Two years ago, I saw how quickly mental illness can take a life. This led to my extensive research and um, need and uh, view to see that we need stronger policies in order to advocate for our mental illness people. Today, we are going to talk about what mental illness is and how it affects us, then the policies that are in place and how we can Im improve them, how you can contribute to the solution and the pros and cons of the solution. Now that we have set the foundation of what will be discussed, let's start with the first topic, what mental illness is and how it affects us. More and more, we are seeing mental illness in children and people all around, especially with the COVID-19 rise. However, we do not have enough policies to um, support these, pe these people who are struggling. Accord many of these policies are black and white and allow us to go through loopholes so that we don't have to exactly follow them, especially when it comes to colleges and universities and even mental health facilities themselves. According to ben Bazelon Center for Mental Health Law, some schools lack comprehensive policies for responding to students with mental health issues or do so in a discriminative or punitive ways. Oftentimes, schools violate the Americans with Disabilities Act and Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act. Under the ADA and Section 504, college and universities may not exclude students because of their mental health needs, except when the student cannot meet academic behavior standards, even with treatment or other help. So even if the student is gaining treatment and they are not meeting academic standards, then they can still be kicked out of college, they can still be kicked out of the dorms, um, and be discriminated. So, now that we understand what mental illness is, let's talk about the policies we have in place and how we can better them. Focusing and supporting the policies that do work as well as planning individual tasks to support these with mental illness can come a long way. According to um, student su supporting students, a policy that advocates for colleges and universities to be committed to the su success of their students from mental health problems um, many college age students suffer from depression. In a 2006 Nash Nation College Health Assessment, 43.8% of the 94,806 students surveyed said that they felt so depressed that it was difficult to function. 9.3% of these had seriously considered committing suicide. This is never okay. And so supporting policies like, like the Babylon Center Supporting Students Policy um, that advocates for college and universities is really helpful in making sure that these mental illness students are being supported. But how can you as an individual support these policies? Well, first, we can sign a petition. By signing a petition, you can gain awareness. You can make sure that um, the government sees it or is even more popular within our nation. You can choose your own petition and choose the policy that you want to follow. If you don't wanna do that, you can just be more inclusive in general. Talk to more people. If someone reaches out to you, be um, available to them and make sure that they are aware that you are available to them and be willing to talk to them. Another step that you can take is by starting a club. If you start a club, um, it seems like a lot of work, but really it's super easy and you can 
um, really gain a lot of awareness and attention to the um, mental health problems. So what are some pros and cons of these, solu these uh, solutions? Let's talk about the pros and cons of the solution. By supporting new and improved policies, we contribute to the, oh, sorry, dang it. So one of the pros is just gaining awareness. When you sign a petition, you get it out to the government, you get it to um, just more people in general. Um, when you are more inclusive, you're a vessel for someone that needs help. Like I said before, when you're willing to talk, you can save a life. Starting a club is can be super easy, and again, it brings lots of awareness. It also is another really great support system within a college, university, a high school, or really anything. Some of the cons, however, is we all know petitions can get overridden or they can have a hard time um, getting started. So that is a con. Being inclusive, sometimes it can be hard to hold on to trauma like other person's trauma. So obviously if this is affecting you personally, do, you're not obligated to go through that. And then um, with clubs, you might have uh, problems with conflict or anything like that, or control. Finally, we have established the pros and cons. Let's review why this is so important. In conclusion, we talked about what mental illness is, how it affects us, and then the policies that are in place and how we can make them even better, um, how you can contribute to the solution, and finally, the good and bad of the solution. I challenge you to sign at least one petition. If you don't want to do that, at least start a club or be willing to talk to someone. That can really go a long way. We need to stop thinking of just ourselves and start um, thinking about our families, our friends, and everyone else that might be affected by, by, by mental illness. When we ignore, we it can be too late. And it's never okay to allow someone to take their own life because you're not willing to reach out. According to the CDC, on average, there are 102, 132 deaths from suicide every day. There is never a reason to allow these deaths to continue. Every one of you can contribute to the decrease of this number. Are you willing to take action?